So you have a very interesting uh, uh, poll there. So what's the story of it? What what are those dots and stuff? So what we have in here is the V pole, and on the top is the V sphere. As you can see, there's a unique pattern of dots in here, and red dots. And why red? Not only like it's just it's this red, but also red is the preferred folder for our EDM to. Uh, to achieve such accuracy and speed. Each dot is precisely printed and then calibrated in production. After that, we generate a calibration file, which then is sent to the device. With this information, the device knows exactly the position of each dot and which face of the sphere is it facing. Using our strong and robust imaging algorithms, the device is capable to detect and have six degrees of freedom. Basically, it can detect how much it can, I can move up and down the sphere, how much I can go front and back, how much I can lean. This means that you don't longer have to pull the thumb. You can simply tilt it and we calculate the tilt position for you. We also have noticed that there is some pattern in here. So we detect with our camera system the pattern in here and we know that this is the height H1 that we're using. However, if I change the height to H2, we have a different pattern in here, which means that the, there's an automatic height detection in place. This eliminates user errors when they, for example, forget to enter the height. So with the V-Pole in the V-Sphere, we have tilt compensation and automatic height detection thanks to unique pattern of the V-Sphere and the imaging algorithms that uses to detect the That's it. It's how, simple as that. How the instrument tracks the the prism? What does it use? It, again, like I said, it uses imaging algorithms okay. on the telescope itself. Okay. <laughs> That's really cool. Thanks, Rodrigo. Thank you. Bye-bye.